Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format cells in LibreOffice Calc. So let's go ahead and launch LibreOffice Calc. And if you check the YouTube description, I'll put a little tutorial there showing you how to download this software. So we load up LibreOffice Calc. And it's just like any other sort of spreadsheet application. We've got our columns here. And when you're using spreadsheets, you really want to be able to know how to format these columns correctly. So let's start off with um, something like if we, if we were to highlight column A by clicking on the letter A, it will highlight the whole column. You can then right click and go to format cells here. And inside format cells, you're going to see various options. We'll look at a few of these right now. So let's take a look at, for example, currency. So when we select currency, you've got a drop down list here with all the different types of currencies. You can also set the default language here. So you, if you want to specify a specific language, you can set it here and you can set the default currency style here. So you have all the different currencies here. We're going to stick with UK GDP and we're going to stick with the default language as UK. So we'll click OK and you'll notice that nothing's really happened. But if I were to type in some figures now, you'll see that we'll start to get the pound sign next to the figures. And that is how you go about setting the uh, currency value. If I did like 55.80, so 55 pound 80, if I right click here and go back to format cell again, you can see that it's set to two decimal places right here. So if you were to remove these and then click OK, you'll see that you'll remove the, the although it still retains the 80 pence at the end, it gets rid of it on the actual spreadsheet itself. So if you want to just round numbers, then you can do it this way as well. So if we right click, what you'll also notice is um, when you remove the, the decimal places, it will round it up. So it's 55 pound 80 and 80 is closer to the six. So it rounds it up to 56. So that's how it rounds up the figures. If we right click, go back to format cell. And then on currency, if we set it to two leading decimal places, um, and it, the negative numbers are set in red, right? Red font. So if we go here and then underneath here, if we did minus 55 pounds, then it, those minus figures will always be shown in red. So we just hit the minus key, 80, and then those will be shown in red. In the next column, if we click here and then right click format cell, uh, let's put um, a title. So I'm going to highlight this row one, click on this number one, right click and insert row above. And in this one, I'm going to type in currency. In this one, I'll type in date. So let's look at the date formatting. I'll select this whole spreadsheet. You can click in this little blank box here, select the whole spreadsheet, and I'm going to left align, just left align all the in information. So in this one, I'm going to click up here on B, right click, format cell, and this time I'm going to go to date. And you see all the different various date formats. Some are suitable for UK, some are suitable for sort of American date format, where the day, the month, and the year are in a different order. If you were to click here, you can select a different uh, language. And then you'll have the spelling for Italian, for example. You know, you can select the different languages from here and all the different date formats applicable to that particular language or country will be applied. So if we look in here, uh, let's have a look. We want to go back to UK, default UK English. Then we'll get all our UK English format with the the day first, the month, and then the year. So let's leave it as this default format, day, month, year. We'll click OK. And then when we type in the 12th of the 12th, 2018, you, you notice that we typed in 2018, but it reformatted it to just 18 at the end. So just to save a bit of time, I'm going to do series filling. So I'm going to click on the right-hand corner here at the bottom and just drag all the way down. And that will just fill it in with a numerical order of dates. So we can click on this B column again, right click, format cells, and we can pick a different format. So we can do 31st of December 1999, which will translate as. Okay, one thing to note, whenever you see these X's like, or these hashes like this, this means that the column isn't wide enough to display the information. So if we just move our mouse cursor in between B and C and hold down the left mouse button and drag across, then we'll be able to see the, uh, the actual text information inside of here. So if we go back here and click on, uh, let's say this very bottom one. If we change the date in here to the 1st 2019 and hit enter, then it'll be the 22nd of January 
2019 because that's the date so whenever you're clicking on these cells you really reference the actual information that's inside of that cell here so we click on 5580 it's 55 spot 8 right so if you wanted to change this 5580 you can just double click and change it to 5581 for example and hit enter and when you click on that cell the raw information is displayed here just as if I click on the 15th of December 2018, this is actually what we typed in here. So that's how you format dates. Let's go to here and type in percentages. And we'll click here and we'll right click and go to format cell and we'll select percentages. And we'll click OK. And we can do like 12%. And you can see there's two zeros at the end, so we'll look at that. We can do 12.5, 12.6, and we're just putting some random numbers here, just so we get some data in there. And sometimes you don't want the, like, the two zeros at the end, so if it's 12.5, you just want 12.5 without this zero at the end. So you can click here, right click, format cells, and you can set the decimal place to one position. Here, one. And then we click OK, and now we just see 12.0, 12.5, 12.6. And if we were to get rid of the last leading point, then in theory, this should, it should round up, but I'm not quite sure. Let's try. So we right click, format cell. And if we get rid of this decimal place and click OK, then it rounds it up to 13, you see, because it was 12.6 and 13 is closer to 12.6. If we were to change that to 12.3, then it will round it down to 12. Because uh, the 3 is closer to the 12, if that makes sense. So we'll put this back to 12.6 and it will round it up to 13. So it's rounding up to 13. So I don't really like doing that. So I'll right click, go to format cells and make sure there's at least, I'll normally set it to two leading points. So we can set the negative values to red and we'll click OK. And then if we were to type in minus 88%, then that one will get shown in red. And this is how I normally show my percentages in the spreadsheet. Let's uh, format these cells. Have a look at... Okay, there's one thing to note here, right? So, um, if you've got number selected, so this is number value, right? So we'll type in here number. If you put in something like uh, 4432, some numbers like this, right? It will just show them as normal numbers. That's perfectly fine. If we right click format cell and then choose text, these are no longer treated as numbers. These will now be treated as text, text information. So although they, they see them as numerical values, they're really treated as just text information. So there's a difference between having number values and text here. So text is if, if um, you just want to show it as raw information. So if you did something like four point, something like this, then it's just really just text information. But if you were to change it to something like numbers, then really it's treating these as real numbers. So there's a difference between that. So you just need to understand that most of the time I just leave them as numbers, but if there's like a, a specific value that you want to enter, then you may want to change it to a text. So sometimes if you do something like uh, a good example would be plus 4407, if it was a set of numbers like this, you can see that it's getting rid of the plus, but that's actually a phone number, right? Let's make this a real phone number, like plus 4407838. So that's what a phone number would look like. But if you want to retain the plus, Sign at the beginning, you need to format the cell, select text, and then put the plus sign in, and it will keep that. Yeah? So that's the difference between numbers and text. That's how they sort of uh, uh, format differently. So that's basically some basic number formatting. I'm going to go through some more advanced tutorials later and show you things like, uh, you know, you've got time and date. Maybe we, we, we haven't looked at time. We'll maybe look at that next time. The scientific values, fractions as well. Uh, we did percentages, currency, date, time, but we didn't do time. Let's have a go at time, actually. 
So we right click here, format cell, set it to time, and then we've got hours, minutes, and seconds, right? Hours, minutes, and seconds. So if we click OK, and we'll call this time up here. Then we, if we did uh, 11, 11 a.m., uh, 11.30 a.m., and 31 seconds. So that's how it will format. Let's just drag down here. So we've got all of these times. Um, and if we right click format cell, in theory, if we click this one, we should see AM everywhere because it's at 11.30 AM. Uh, if we set this to something like 14, which will be two o'clock, 2.30, then it will switch to PM, you see? Format cells, we should in theory, uh, somewhere in here, hours, minutes. So these are all formatting differently. So this is hours, minutes and um, AM, PM with seconds, right? So we click this one, then we get the seconds, but we also get the AM and PM. And if you don't want that AM, PM at the end, then uh, we can just select this one without it. And then we get this format. So there's various formats. You need to go and experiment, see which time format is more suitable for the type of data that you're capturing or how you want it to be formatted. This is in like a 24 hour clock, right? Okay, so that's how you go about formatting cells in um, LibreOffice Calc. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.